have you heard about the Ottawa rules for the knee joint? These are a really important set of criteria that helps us when a patient has had a traumatic knee injury. So if you're ready to explore them, let's dive in. Hey guys, Khalid here. Welcome back to Clinical Physio. So in a previous episode, we looked at the Ottawa rules for the foot and ankle. Today, we're looking at the Ottawa rules for the knee. So the Ottawa rules for the knee were designed for patients who have had a traumatic injury at the knee joint and to help us decide whether or not they should have an x-ray. So therefore, researchers designed a set of criteria that we should use that if our patients present with one of these signs, they should have an x-ray. So the Ottawa rules for the knee recommend a knee x-ray for patients who have had a traumatic knee injury and any of the following criteria. First of all, if the patient is aged 55 years or older. Secondly, if the patient has isolated patella tenderness, pain on palpation of the patella with no other bony tenderness at the knee. Or tenderness of the fibula head, pain on palpation of the fibula head on the lateral side of the knee. The fourth point is the inability to bear weight for patients who cannot bear weight for four steps on their leg, both immediately after the injury and in the emergency department. And finally, the inability to flex to 90 degrees for patients who are unable to bend their knee to 90 degrees of flexion. So those are the Ottawa rules for the knee joint, but do they actually stand up in practice? Do they help us to try and work out who should and who shouldn't have an x-ray based on the criteria? Well, in 2004, Bachmann et al. completed the first real systematic review on this. They looked at 4,249 patients who had been screened by the Ottawa rules in the emergency department. They found that when clinicians used the screening tool process, there was a pooled sensitivity of 98.5%. That means there was almost a 100% success rate that clinicians were able to rule out a knee fracture just by using the rules alone without needing to use an x-ray. This was followed up in a different systematic review and meta-analysis by Sims et al. in 2020, much more recently. They looked at over 7,000 patients and also find a pool sensitivity of 99%. Again, demonstrating almost 100% success rate at being able to rule out a knee fracture just by using the rules alone without an x-ray. So this absolutely shows that the rules can be worked in practice to try and reduce the number of unnecessary x-rays in the emergency department. So guys, if you're working in the emergency department, it's well worth knowing these rules. If you've enjoyed this video, please support us by smashing that like button, subscribe to the channel for all our best updates, and remember we've got loads more content on our Instagram account, at Clinical Physio, and on our website, clinicalphysio.com, helping build better physiotherapists for the future. My name's Khalid, thank you so much for watching, see you soon, here on Clinical Physio.